it's weird because you're so compartmentalized and that's all you're around all the time are the same people that you see. And then everybody's trying to lie to you. I do ride alongs with the Illinois state police, which I think they should do more, but I would do it with uh, the, um, the state police, the state troopers. And man, everybody's lying to you. Everybody's out to get you. You never know. I mean, I can understand why they have an attitude, but at the same point, they're not trained enough. They need to like be trained and like jujitsu would be great. You should be able to take somebody down and lock them and, you know, not break them. To say that that knee move was non-lethal, obviously that's a lie because it was lethal. And to say, you know, because I could put somebody in an arm bar. I took a a Muay Thai and grappling for several years. Uh, This was about two or three years ago. So I could put you in an arm bar and, as much as you struggle, you're not going to go. Nothing's going to happen. I could have you there for 10 minutes or an hour and nothing will happen. You'll never die. It'll be unpleasant. That knee move was just gruesome. And the fact that Minneapolis says that it's acceptable and still in their rule book, except I think the, the chief of police just pulled it. He's trying to do some reform too. Just, it, it was a bad situation. Anybody who sees it and goes, man, something's wrong. Doesn't say that they're wrong. So, yeah. I think, I really think in that situation, had he have been white and maybe in a slightly better neighborhood, I don't think it would have, I, I don't think it would have played out that way well, at all. How about the fact that they knew each other too. The they did? officer and yeah, the officer and George Floyd worked together at a casino where allegedly. Yeah, Cause George yeah, he did security. Yeah. Oh really? Oh wow. It all ties together now. Huh? Yeah. And I wonder if, it, but he was called on the scene very late though. Yeah. And my question is, did he know him and did they have any prior? There was one guy who actually claims that they knew each other and that they were always fighting. That kind of fell through because the guy goes, well, no, it was another black security guard of the nightclub. Oh, it's like, nice. Okay, That's a little racist there, but whatever. The guy said it. Uh, and you see it and you're like, okay, so did they have some kind of connection? Did they know each other? Who knows? I mean, it's, there's so much going on. And then they say that the 20 came from that uh, nightclub that he worked at. And that uh, police officer was the police officer head of security on duty that would mace people randomly, like who were, you know, oh my uh, God. obviously criminals are acting up. He would mace them. And that was his retaliation or whatever. 